Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss season one of Disney Plus's original show, Muppets Now. This is six episodes long, came out in 2020, and that's it. This isn't a show. This is just a compilation of shorts smooshed into six separate episodes of the Muppets putting together a web series. So it's more like a vlog, like video logs of like, this is this segment and this is that segment. And it's boring. It's just it's boring. You know, they're all submitting these, these characters are submitting their different skits or shorts or interviews or whatever to Scooter, who's uploading it to the Muppets now, you know, streaming service. It's just boring. I get how they're trying to make it modern, but like, you don't, there's not many jokes to it. It's just the Muppets are doing stuff. And like, there's no, no excitement to it. There, There's certain interviews with certain celebrities. Great. Awesome. That's what the Muppets have done since the 70s. But, like, the only entertaining part of this was the Bunsen and Beaker Muppet Lab, you know, shorts, where they're doing actual experiments of actual science. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm learning some stuff. But, like, that's really it. There's no story it's like kind of a variety show in the sense of it's just compilation of of things they're submitting to scooter to upload so instead of a muppet show at a theater they're just doing skits to upload to a site that is creating its own muppet show so it's a reboot of a muppet show i don't know man it was just boring there was no whim to it there was no magic to it it was just blah i i had to play pokemon while, while watching this i couldn't watch it and be invested in it because it was so slow and there was no memorable aspect to it aside from little tiny things here and there like tay Diggs and and miss piggy eating fried tarantulas that's it that's all i got you got you got chip from the 2015 muppet show he had a couple scenes here and there which was nice to see you have walter from the 2011 and 2014 muppet films which was nice to see randomly but like I don't know. There was not enough Kermit. It was just... It was just unfortunate. So, moving forward, we now have the 2023 Muppets May Electric Mayhem show coming out. I'm very excited for that. The trailer makes it look awesome. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be more like the 2015 show, which I didn't like originally, but I really like it seeing it again all these years later, growing up. Uh, experiencing life as I have, as we all have, as we all will. So I, I have a feeling the Muppet Mayhem show is going to be incredible. Uh, I'm unfortunately hyping myself up for it, but we have talked about Muppets for quite some time. We've watched Muppets consistently for quite some time um, since I since since before my birth. My parents were Muppet fans before I was an, even a, even a thought. So for us to do this Muppet Marathon, it was a nice homage to nostalgia, nice homage to family, nice homage to home, nice homage to comfort. So we've now concluded. We've gone from 1981's Muppet Caper, all throughout the things we have not discussed and watched, up to 2020's Muppets Now. So on to the next review, which is not Muppet related. I don't know what we're watching yet, but we're going to get to that. And, uh... Yeah, here's to hoping Muppets Mayhem is going to be a great show. Manamana. Uchimahalo.